Hey guys, Tyrone with Wago here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Wago Power Cage Clamp Terminal Blocks. The Wago Power Cage Clamp Series Terminal Blocks have four sizes for conductors ranging from 10 gauge up to 350 KC mil. So the first thing you will notice is that these terminal blocks are sitting on a DIN rail larger than a standard 7.5 by 35 millimeter rail. This 35 by 15 millimeter rail is required for these terminal blocks. However, we also offer mounting feet, which allow for direct panel mount. To operate these terminal blocks, you will need a standard screwdriver and a hex key, depending on the size of the terminal block. The recommended WAGO tools for operation of these blocks is the WAGO 210-721 operating tool for the smallest size terminal block and the WAGO 285-172 hex wrench for the three other larger sizes. The top of each block has an arrow to indicate the direction to twist the tool into both the lock and unlock position. Now we will look at the operation of the block in detail. In this case, I'm using a transparent plastic version of the block to show mechanically how the spring cage mechanism of the block works. This is the largest size terminal block WAGO offers, and I'm using a 350 KC mil cable to show it in action. The first step is to choose the correct tool for the block and twist it open. By pressing the button in on the front once you have reached a full turn, you will be able to lock the spring cage in the open position. From another angle, you can see the procedure to lock the terminal block in the open position. The next step is to insert the stripped conductor into the open cage clamp. In order to ensure you have the correct strip length, check the top of the terminal block for where it shows the specific strip length for that block. To unlock the terminal block, you will twist the tool in the same direction you use to initially lock it, as indicated by the arrow at the top. A quarter turn will allow the locking button to unlatch and pop out. Then simply let the pressure off the tool and let it unwind back the other direction. If you try to unlock the block by twisting it the opposite direction, you can strip the latching mechanism inside and potentially damage the block. Just like our other lines of terminal blocks, there are various accessories available. The first option is a pluggable jumper that pushes into the side of the block. These can be removed with a standard screwdriver. Note that as you common multiple terminal blocks together with jumpers, the total current rating will go down, so be sure to consult the manual. For the smaller size blocks, the jumper slot is located on the top of the block as opposed to the side of the block. Also note that if you are jumpering multiple blocks, it may make sense to use a safety cover to ensure touch-proof safety of the block. Note that these blocks also offer a pluggable tap for multiple smaller conductors. This can eliminate the need for additional smaller terminal blocks in your panel. The power taps simply plug into the jumper slot on the side of the terminal block. The top of the terminal block reveals a test point available for a multimeter test lead. Note that we also offer a safety cover to improve safety and prevent unnecessary shorting in the panel. Last but not least, just like all of our other terminal blocks, these blocks provide marking slots to improve troubleshooting in the field. 